Good morning, everyone. Um, to everyone here in the hall, also to the people that are watching from a distance. I feel so grateful and honored to be here and uh, to be able to also to present a project that is so dear to me because it's a project that speaks about my country, about my culture, and above all, about uh, Portugal's, uh, Portuguese identity, saudade. So saudade is a word that is very difficult to translate to other languages. We could try to define it as a deep feeling of nostalgic longing for uh, someone who one was fond of and which has been lost. It often carries a fatalist tone and a sentiment that this person might not never really return. The complexity of the word saudade reflects in recollection joining of feelings, places, events that once were experienced and brought pleasure, happiness, excitement. Losing it, one lives up a sensational, uh, full of emotions, you know, uh, fulfilled with uh, uh, joy, but also sadness, uh, pain also. And so it's very difficult to translate this word. And I will try to do it for the next 45 minutes through the best way of communicating emotions and telling stories that I know, which is through music. So this is my purpose for this 45 minutes for this program. So I would like to talk, start to talk about a dimension of saudade that I think we all know, which is the love for one's home. There are memories that we hold so dear that we feel the responsibility to preserve our nation's culture so that the other generations can share those moments. For example, the food served, the landscape that surrounds us, the accent of one city, the dances of a national holiday. So there are, these are simple details of everyday life, but we feel like the need to, uh, to preserve it. And so uh, the next two pieces that I'm gonna play are, uh, two, are based in folkloric Portuguese themes. They are written for the Portuguese guitar by the famous guitar player Carlos Paredes. And so, and I will play it on the harp. And I think you, I hope you will enjoy this trip to my homeland and can feel the beauty and simplicity of these moments.
as part of the same peninsula, uh, the Iberian Peninsula, Portugal and Spain grew up together, sharing a lot of similarities. Even musically, they share, the folk songs share these vivid, colorful and passionate sounds. So what you'll hear next is another folkloric, based in another folkloric music heritage, but this time it comes to us from the south of, of Spain. Uh, which this style that you've surely heard about, it's called Flamenco. Given its name, the name of the piece, it's Asturias, you would think it would come from the north region of Spain, but in fact, it was inspired in the south region. The, the name was not given by its original composer, which is Isaac Albeniz, but by uh, this editor, uh, posthumously, of Meister. Uh, and the, the piece is inspired on the Andalusian flamenco. You can find it on the rhythm, the dispoleria rhythm. You can find it on the alternation of melody and accompaniment. And you also can find it on the style, the middle section of the, of the piece, of the style. The piece is written in the style of Malaguena. In fact, is Albany's biographer, Walter Aaron Clark, quotes this piece as pure Andalusian flamenco. Let's hear it.
cannot talk about Saudade without talking about Portuguese past, and we cannot talk about Portuguese history without talking about the sea. During many centuries, browsers and sailors courageously ventured into these uncharted waters, leaving women and children behind. So the next two pieces evoke this nostalgic and longing sentiment that is women and children felt looking for hours at the sea, hoping for the return of their loved ones.
next piece, the famous uh, Spanish dance number no. five by Enrique Granados, Andaluza, we can find the two opposite poles uh, of saudade, absorbed in the word saudade. On one hand, we can find the, the spunk and colorful sounds that are most presently on the accompaniment, and in the melody line, we can find the nostalgic, the nostalgic sentiment. Uh, in fact, Granado did not use any folk themes into his Dantas Españolas, but uh, he infused the Spanish characteristics into his own style. Let's hear the piece. Portuguese writer Eduardo Lourenço sorry, <laughs> said that before Saudade was even thought or even defined, it was already sang. In fact, there's a, a music genre, very famous music genre in uh, Portugal, uh, that is deeply associated with this sentiment, Fado. Fado is usually played by a singer and uh, a Portuguese guitar, a typical Portuguese instrument. 
And in fact, the Portuguese pieces that you heard here today were written for these instruments by a, a famous guitar player, Carlos Paredes, and his father. Paredes' amazing playing and beautiful music inspired me so much that I decided to do some transcriptions for the harp. And this is how the, this idea of, of the project was born. Uh, Carlos Paredes, he was really, uh, really a great musician. He touched people through the guitar. Uh, he, he expressed feelings and thoughts through this instrument and he mastered to a, a virtuoso level. He was a virtuoso of the guitar. And um, so I just hope I can honor him also in the, here with all his music even because, you know, Fado is not, I'm, I'm a classical musician. You're, you're used to uh, having scores and doing, uh, and uh, do, looking at the scores and seeing the, uh, seeing the notes. And Fado is not like this. Fado is a lot felt and is something that you only have records to recognize. So my job was to listen to the records, discover the notes, discover the rhythm, and then see what suited best to harp and which music, how, how I could like put this sentiment on, the, um, on this instrument. And I hope I have achieved it. I hope you like it uh, this, this morning. Um, so the next two pieces are called, uh, one, the first one is called Action. I, I, think it, uh, uh, I think it reflects the importance of taking action, of seizing the day. As I've mentioned before, Saudade is a, um, is a word that is deeply associated with what we have lost. But it also allows us to realize we have to enjoy and live the present day because tomorrow we may not still have. So this is the first piece that I'll play. The second piece, and is the last piece of the Fado, is uh, called Verde Zenus, which is green ears in, in, in English. And is one, is the most famous piece of this composer, Carlos Paredes. And it's also a hymn in, uh, in Portugal. You, you hear it and it's very, uh, every, everybody gets emotional because it touched really the heart, the sad melody and the accompaniment is just really beautiful. So I hope it can be also a hymn for this concert. I hope you like it.
arriving to the end of our cultural and musical journey together. Uh, it has really been a pleasure for me uh, to be here, and, uh, but I still have to talk about a dimension, a saudade. Uh, the sensation of missing what we haven't seen, where we haven't been, or what we haven't heard. It's strange to think that we can miss something that we've never experienced, but a lot of composers, painters, writers have written about this sentiment. And uh, so the last piece that I chose for this concert is not a Portuguese piece, nor a purely Spanish one. But I think it represents this feeling in the best way, because it represents the emotions of uh, uh, Augustin Lara, Mexican composer, towards a city where he had never been when he composed this piece. He, in the first words of the song, uh, Lara says, Granada, tierra soñada por mi, which means Granada, land dreamed by me. And I think this is, for me personally, the best feeling, uh, so, uh, the best uh, meaning of saudade, because I think it allows me to hope, to explore uh, the world without forgetting my roots and without forgetting my origins. And the world that, uh, as an artist, you know, it, it allows me to ex explore the world without forgetting where I came from. Uh, so I think with this last piece, that uh, I would like to celebrate the ancient phenomena of Galician and Portuguese culture that is translated into the word saudade. Uh, and the, with it, the human feelings, social respect, and the pride and gratitude for who we are and what surrounds us, because honestly, this is what allows us to live and create on this earth. Thank you very much.